The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining me today as we prepare for this coming Sunday, April the 18th, which is the third Sunday of Easter. The theme which ties our readings together for this third Sunday of Easter, the preaching of repentance and forgiveness of sins makes us pure. Amen. Today we'll be meditating upon the gospel lesson, which comes from the book of the Gospel of St. Luke, the 24th chapter, verses 36 through 49. We begin in prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Hear the word of the Lord from St. Luke, the 24th chapter, beginning at verse 36. As they were talking about these things, Jesus himself stood amongst them and said to them, Peace to you. But they were startled and frightened and thought they saw a spirit. And he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do doubts arise in your hearts? See my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, for a spirit does not have flesh and bones as you see that I have. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. And while they still disbelieved for joy and were marveling, he said to them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate it before them. And he said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and said to them, Thus it is written, that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things, and behold, I am sending the promise of my Father upon you, but stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. So far the word of the Lord. The prayer and meditation for the gospel reading for today, for this third Sunday of Easter. Jesus dispels all doubt when he offers absolute proof of his resurrection. Again, he points to himself as scripture's center, but now includes the mission to all nations through the Holy Spirit's power. There is danger that we keep to ourselves when Jesus is equipping us to go out. We accept the fact that he is risen, but deny the mission on which he sends us. The resurrected Christ truly equips us for our witness to him with the Holy Spirit whom he provides. We pray. Come, Holy Spirit, as promised by Jesus, enable us to bear witness into our crucified and risen Savior. In Jesus' very name we pray. Amen. We pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.